Greetings from India. I'll be presenting my paper on bailout strategies for difficult laparoscopic cholecystectomy, experience of 726 cases from a tertiary care center. As we all know, the incidence of bile duct injury ranges from 0 0.2 to 1.5%. The various uh, intraoperative complications along with bile duct injury has lasting morbidity to the patient, results in increased cause to the healthcare system, affects the quality of life of the patient and at times can also lead to mortality. There has been consensus on the importance of critical view of safety in preventing the bile duct injuries. But wherever, when we have a difficult anatomy and it's difficult to delineate the critical view of safety, we should resort to bailout strategies. So this study is basically a retrospective analysis of a pro prospectively maintained data. The study period is from January 2004 to December 2019. These bailout strategies used are uh, additional ports wherever required, upgradation of scope from uh, a 10 mm zero degree scope to a 10 mm 30 degree scope. In case of a visceral fistula, leaving behind a remnant uh, gallbladder cup instead of a complete delineation and dissection of the fistula and we do a different type of cholecystectomy that we call as a near total cholecystectomy where we delineate the opening of cystic duct into the gallbladder lumen and effectively we leave a one to two millimeter uh, gallbladder cuff attached to the cystic duct and we transfix the cystic duct stump using a vicryl tubo suture. The most important protocol that we follow is a timeout before doing any dissection in and around the colored triangle and opinion of a senior colleague. Talking about the results, out of uh, 3726 patients, 649 patients were labeled as difficult cholecystectomies. Intraoperatively, dense adhesions were found in uh, nearly 80% of the patients and colored triangle was found to be frozen in 54.4% of the patients. And the mean operative time uh, in these patients uh, was 82 minutes. Additional ports were inserted in 21.26% uh, of the patients. GB cuff was left attached to the bowel in a total of 27 patients and near total cholecystectomy was done in 35.7% of the patient. We had a conversion rate of 4.93%. Out of these 649 patients, we had only one CBT injury. There was only one vascular injury. So to conclude, I would just say that bile duct injuries and other various intraoperative complications are preventable. We need to do a careful and meticulous dissection and the critical view of safety should be used very effectively. Bailout strategy should be used as and when required depending upon the situation. Thank you.